Well, 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 we finally have news on the next release in the Kingdom Hearts franchise, and surprisingly, I don't know if I'm too excited, honestly. If you've been around the channel for the past while, you would know that I've been pretty excited for the next entry of Kingdom Hearts, even making a couple videos on Kingdom Hearts 4 so far. But a new trailer has just dropped for the next release, actually being Kingdom Hearts Missing Link. I have to say, I'm second guessing my excitement for it after some information came with that trailer. So sit back and listen in if you want to know exactly why I may be a little skeptical, along with all of the new information the trailer has to offer. So starting off, I want to explain really quickly what exactly Kingdom Hearts Missing Link is, as this might not be the Kingdom Hearts in your scope and this game might have fallen off some of your radars. But Missing Link is in fact the next entry in the Kingdom Hearts story, opening up on the events of Kingdom Hearts 3 and Melody of Memory, though this will not actually be a mainstream release on platforms like Xbox or PlayStation, instead on Android and iOS devices, which we've actually known that part for a while now. Unlike the other mobile release though, this game seems to be more akin to the console versions of the series. There's just one thing though that I just don't know how it will end up, but I'll get to that in a second. Some may be asking what the game will be about, seeing as Kingdom Hearts 3 closed off that arc, and we are kind of in a story limbo before Kingdom Hearts 4 opens up the new Lost Master arc. Well luckily, Square Enix has let us know that the game will center around Scala Ad Kalum in what they call an unwritten era. The story in the game will actually serve as a connection between the time of Kingdom Hearts Union X and the one we're currently in now. This probably being why the game is named Missing Link, as it will be the Missing Link of Time. Along with this, from the new trailer it seems like we will be seeing a whole lot more of what Scala has to offer, along with the whole astral plane in general. The trailer also announces that we will get to see and travel to Disney Worlds, though it seems like only Scala is viewable, as I can't tell if it shows any other worlds. Let me know what you think now though. But now I want to move over to all the other new stuff we get to see in the trailer, as it may have been short but it still showed a good amount of details that we can take away. The first thing I want to point out is a couple of new things that we seem to see. The first being game pieces, which are little well, game pieces that are actually like statues of different Kingdom Hearts and Disney characters, all of which we've seen at some point or another in the Kingdom Hearts franchise, along with certain Kingdom Hearts characters like Riku and Sora. The use of these little pieces seem to be kind of like powers, giving your character a certain attack or spell related to the game piece or character, though I think there's a lot more to be uncovered there. On the gameplay side of things, it looks really similar to what we've seen in Kingdom Hearts, though Weirdly, there does not seem to be any movement wheel, rather an attack and jump button, but that is just another one of those things I think we will need to know more about before making any assumptions whether it looks well done or not. The graphics on the other hand look adequate enough for a mobile game, I don't think it's anything groundbreaking, but honestly I think they look pretty good in comparison to previous mobile entries. And it seems like the enemies we will be fighting are just the normal Heartless that have been going strong since day one, along with the usual and obviously needed Keyblade wielding. We also see the main character opening doors with her Keyblade, leading some people to believe that traveling between worlds will not be done through gummy ships, rather using these doors as portals, though as I said, we don't really know anything other than Scala. Once again, like a broken record, this is something we will just need to wait and see. Now, onto some of the more different things and the main reasons I'm sort of skeptical about Kingdom Hearts Missing Link. So, less than 15 seconds into the trailer, something is revealed that seems to put a damper on my excitement to be honest, and that is the claim that Missing Link will be a GPS action RPG game. And that makes me think of only one thing, Pokemon Go. So GPS obviously means that where you are in the world has an effect on what's going to happen in the game. And the first time I heard that, I could only think of games like Pokemon Go. I could only think about games like Pokemon Go or the Harry Potter game, and really, I cannot see that playing out as an enjoyable Kingdom Hearts experience, especially if this game's story is actually important leading up to Kingdom Hearts 4. Would Heartless be scattered around your city and you actually need to go out to fight them? 
making this some poor excuse for people to just go outside and get some steps in? Or will it be a normally played game with certain locations of the real world only integrating itself into a portion of the game? Later in the trailer though, it states that you can travel the world without stepping outside. Which makes me think that the world will just have an underlying purpose to the game, with you still being able to play without the gimmick of walking around. This could be the locations we're saying not actually being Scala, but instead some real world cities. Then we also get a clip showing what looks like a Google Maps type globe with characters and Heartless scattered about, along with locked chests here and there. There are timers above the certain Disney characters, but I really can't begin to gather what's going on with this, other than maybe having to walk to different quests and objectives. And then the final thing we end up seeing in the trailer is a pan of Scala Ad Callum, along with the release window of 2024, followed by announcement of the closed beta dates, and then the trailer wraps up. And with that trailer wrapped up, I will now wrap this video up with why exactly I'm so skeptical about this release. So obviously, it's that GPS part, as I really did not know what to think seeing that first. I mean sure, I was one of the Pokemon Go craze players, walking around my city with my brother and friends at 3 o'clock in the morning trying to find a Pikachu or Gyarados, but honestly, that idea with Pokemon was and still is a good idea in my opinion, making it seem like you are a trainer yourself, finding Pokemon littered throughout your actual world, even getting to use your camera to make it seem like you're catching the Pokemon. I have also shifted to the mindset though that those games are a gimmick just to get you to go outside and walk. I mean, I already have my daily walks, which I honestly enjoy the break from the tech, and really, I just feel like I will leave the walks to walking and games to gaming. But thinking of how that would work for Kingdom Hearts just, well it doesn't. Having to search out Heartless to fight while still having to fight them in game, it seems like it would be a stretch of immersion and not only that, it would be a really hard to follow story. Though after getting through the trailer, it seems like that might not be the case. I just don't know how the GPS will actually play into the game. And also knowing the story is important and leads up to later games, it, it all kind of just makes me nervous to see what the game will actually be like. That does not mean I will not play it though, as it is Kingdom Hearts related and even relevant to the main storyline, so I will be right there getting my fair share, and who knows, things could be totally different than what I'm thinking, and I might end up adoring the game, being able to play Kingdom Hearts on the go. Nevertheless, we still do not know much about Missing Link, and only time will tell what the game will be like and will be about. With that being said, since this is one of those smaller side vids, I think that's all I have to say on the topic of Kingdom Hearts Missing Link. And if Missing Link looks interesting to you, or even if you're just as skeptical as I am, definitely let me know any of your thoughts in the comments now. And as always, if you like this video and you want to see more like it, don't be afraid to throw me a thumbs up and hit that little red button now. And if you want to support more videos like this, along with the bigger Friday videos, go ahead and check out a membership to either my YouTube or my Patreon now to, as I said, support the channel, and to get your name at the end of every single video. And lastly, if you heard any music in this video that you enjoyed and want to hear more, check out BillyTheWhip.com or just Billy the Whip on any music platform now. And now that we're here, as always, look out for Friday's vid and I hope you all have a great day. God, this community is overreacting.